All right, I got the bars installed. They look really good and they're gonna be super comfortable. After I get the bike off the lift and I get on it, I'm gonna have to make some minor adjustments to the brake and the clutch lever, and then also tie up these wires here. First, I need to get the brake line all set up. Let's get started on that. Brake fluid is hydrophilic, meaning it really sucks up all the water around it. And it also damages any paint surfaces. So we're gonna make sure and protect every surface. All right, we'll start by filling the master cylinder. And down here, we'll take off the valve cap and we'll go ahead and put on this hose here if I can get around the brake line. Looks pretty secure. And then what I'll do is I'll squeeze the brake lever. As I'm holding it in, I'll go ahead and open up the valve. All right, now I have strong pressure with the lever. Now I gotta bleed out the air. So I'm gonna put some more fluid into the master cylinder, and then I'm gonna lightly put this on here because it's gonna start squirting out. Starting to feel really good, but I wanna make sure all the air bubbles are out. So I'm gonna open up the bleeder valve again and hold in the lever. And it looks like I got some leaking out of the line here, so I'm gonna to have to take this off and redo it. All right, I got the brakes working really well, but I had an issue with a little bit of leaking down by the caliper. So what I'm gonna do with this line here is add a little bit of shrink tubing on there, fire the heat gun on it, and that should take care of it. But I'm worried about this line holding up over time, so I bought a Goodridge line, and I'm gonna install this one instead because it already has the fittings installed, and all I need to do is put the banjo heads on there and install it. It's gonna be a really quick and easy install. Let's get this line buttoned up with the heat gun, and then we'll go ahead and put the Goodridge line on there. Let's get started.
With this Goodridge line, I have a 90 degree head and I have a 20 degree head. I'll put the 20 degree up at the top by the brake lever and I'll put the 90 at the bottom by the caliper. This is gonna be really easy to install because it already has the fittings on either end. It's the exact length I need, 40 inches. And on the heads, all I have to do is just screw these into the fittings and we're good to go. And just to be extra safe, I don't want any leaks at all. I'm gonna put some shrink tubing over this. And then once I put the heads on, I'm gonna go ahead and slide the shrink tubing up, heat it up, make sure everything's sealed up. Installing the Goodrich line was a breeze. It didn't take any time at all. I'm really pleased with it. The black looks a lot better too, but now I got a lot of slack here. So I'm gonna use the grommet fittings from the original line and I'm gonna install them on here. I'm super pleased with how this handlebar swap turned out. I need to make a few adjustments yet with the controls and see if I can go lock to lock without anything binding up here. And then wrap up the electrical wires here. Let's get this off the lift and see how many adjustments I need to make. Yeah. 